Hey everyone, Serious Lug here, doing a room tour for the Batman Statue Collector YouTube channel. Thank you, Chris, for having this on your channel. And I was going to do one in December, but I figured I can do one today. I'm not going to get too many more things by the end of the year, so what the heck. I got a video playing on my TV just so I have something to look at in between recordings of this. And that was the overview of my room. And that's one of my favorite art prints by Sideshow, the Red Sonia. I have some other pictures up on my door. And as I slowly work over all those pictures, there's the statues. I'm recording over the video because I didn't feel like talking while I was filming because I had to do a, quite a few takes because my dog kept barking. So you have to excuse me if I, I'm watching the video as I'm talking. So I don't know what I'm about to watch. But this Red Sonia and this Wonder Woman right here. Those are my two favorite statues in my collection. They just go so well together. I love them so much. That Wonder Woman came broken. The dragon that was on the base. Not that one. The one on the back of the base that I can't even see was broken. So this is the replacement. Came in perfect condition. Thank you Sideshow for great customer service. And here are all my heads for my statues because I didn't feel like putting them in a box in my closet. I needed them somewhere. So here they are on the wall with some comics behind them. Also, I was afraid to put them in a box because they might break in there. So I'm happy they're up there. I'd rather them collect a little bit of dust instead of being hidden away. I do dust every couple of weeks, every Saturday that I'm off. So I don't worry about dust. There's a lot of people who worry about dust. It's a thing. You can't get rid of it. Just get a feather duster or an air purifier. You'll be all right. I ain't worried about dust. But anyway, there's Poison Ivy. That Joker is my favorite Joker with the battering in the eye. That's still my favorite Joker statue. Here's this Harley Quinn that's way too big, but I still love it. It's my favorite Harley Quinn statue. And it, behind Huntress are some Mezco 112 scale figures that I forgot to record and I'm too lazy to go back and do it now. But I'll have more of them coming up. Those are, that's, Mezco is a great company. They do a bunch of different stuff. And here's my Catwoman and Batman. That Batman hush is way too heavy. <laughs> and here's my Hot Toys. Everything on this shelf is Hot Toys except, as I turn around to look, three things. But all of these are Hot Toys figures. That Catwoman next to Keaton Batman is Sideshow. And that's the in-art Joker. Two-pack rooted hair. And the Hot Toys and Queen Studio quarter scale Jokers. And my Wonder Woman shelf. That Hot Toys Joker, I painted blood on it. Because it's either that or put him under my bed. Because the Queen Studio's Joker is better in every way. And I figured, well I don't want to sell the Hot Toys Joker, because he's fun to pose, but I also don't want to just shove him away. So I just painted some blood on him, make he look like he whacked a bunch of people. And here's some more Hot Toys. I don't know what to do with, besides putting them on a shelf behind my TV. I could sell them, but I don't want to sell them, because I still love them, and I want to take pictures of them. But instead of putting them in a box, hidden away, I just put them behind my TV. I can still see them. And there's some my video game figures. And here's my random movie and shelf. And here's my favorite shelf, Spider-Man. I love this shelf so much. And here's a bunch more random stuff. And here's some McFarlane's. Uh, Wolverine is Mezco. I think that Punisher on the motorcycle was Marvel Select or something. I can't remember. And here's my second favorite shelf, the Avengers. Because they're all together. It's such a nice shelf. Can't fit any more on there, but I got all the characters I care about, so I don't need anyone else for now. There's always room for more <laughs> if I cram them in there. But for now, I could see them all from where I sit, so it's fine. And those two posters up there, Alien and Predator, I forgot to take them off when I put my Marvel up there. I just left them on there. And here's my Star Wars shelf, all the characters I care about are on here I have more on I got more um 
coming. I don't know where they're going. And here's my horror from NECA and Mezco. Well, Mezco with... Yeah, I didn't stay on that long enough. I didn't even get to talk about them. Oh, well. But here's Laura Croft versus Raptors from Weta. That's a great statue, too. And here's another overview of everything. I like it. I hate glass displays. I used to have a Detolf, but I don't have one anymore. No glass. I hate the reflections. And I just hate it. But anyway, here's the Witcher. That Geralt was my first Prime 1 statue back in 2018, I think. 18 or 19, I can't remember. But that was my first Prime 1 statue. Here's some Dark Horse statues of Cyberpunk 2077. And here we have more DC. Tweeter head up there, some sideshow, Mezco, and the XM Catwoman. So here we go. Tweeter head, I love their line. I got Wonder Woman on pre order. I haven't pre ordered Batman yet because I'm lazy. But anyway, here's a DC bus from Sideshow. I love them. And here's more Mezco figures. Their DC line. These are great figures. I love taking pictures of them. And here is my Harley corner. Or, well, I guess it is a corner. To the very end of the garage shelf, here's a Sideshow Harley. And two Hot Toys Harley Quinns. And I think that's DC Direct Bombshell Harley. It's hard to remember where all these came from. I think that's DC Direct. I don't remember where that one came from. There's Diamond Select. A Funko that seems to be falling over. <laughs> and those two Harleys right there. My little Harley corner. There's the XM Catwoman. And Tweeterhead, Ivy, and Harley. And Joker. I love that Joker. That knife keeps falling out, which sucks. But, no, yeah, well, it's one imperfection on a near-perfect statue. And here's the overview of everything underneath this side of the garage shelf. And now I show you all the duct tape and the wires underneath for the lights. These lights are good on display, but on recording, they're horrible. On my phone, when I was recording, I had to turn down the brightness a lot to make sure they everything looked okay. And here's the Fabok Batman bust and my Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers mask, which was professionally done. And here's Sideshow Red Sonya. I can't wait to get the new one. The Dragon Slayer, which is the only one-fifth statue I got, but... I still love it. And then here's the rest of my sideshow. And some NECA one-fourth scale stuff. There's Black Canary. Joker. Harley and Ivy. And Catwoman. There she is. And then here's my NECA horror stuff. Which was under my bed since last October. I put them here last month in October. But I just never got around to putting them away again. They just look good there. They don't really block anything either, so I'm just going to keep them there, even though they really don't belong there. But hey, what are you going to do? Tell them to leave? You try telling Michael Myers he can't do anything. <laughs> but there's the overview, and here's the view of everything when I'm sitting down in my chair, using the wide-angle lens on my phone, trying to turn around in my chair. So that's basically how it looks. Everything looks when I'm sitting down. Of course, when I play games or watch movies, I don't have the overhead lights on, so... But that's okay. But yeah, that's my room tour. Thank you, Chris, for having this on your channel. And I'll probably do another one if I get more stuff. But I'm not getting too much more stuff because I have no room. I really don't want to sell anything because everything I have, I love. All the characters that I care about are represented in this room in some way, shape, or form. But yeah, that's this is my view from setting down. I can see everybody just fine. And then up. Here's where I keep all the parts for my 1-6 scale figures. And for my statues, I keep them in boxes in my closets. Because they're too big to fit in those little things. I got those at Lowe's. I think you can find them on Amazon too. But that's the end of the room tour. Thank you for watching everyone. Take care. 
Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.